Uterine fibroids are non-cancerous growths of the uterus. They become more common as women age and can be found in up to 70% of women. StarMed's Viva RF generator delivers radio frequency energy through a dedicated mode for the treatment of fibroids. StarMed's StarFixed, Star Bipolar, and Viva 2 RF electrodes have all been designed specifically for the treatment of fibroids. The Viva 2 RF electrode is an adjustable electrode. The active tip can be adjusted from 5 mm to 30 mm. To begin, first connect the Viva 2's RF power cable to the Viva RF generator. Then, connect the blue inflow tubing and make sure that the tube's arrows are facing the same direction as that of the pump's flow. Depending on the electrode, attach two or four grounding pads on the patient's thighs. Uterine fibroids are approached in different ways depending on their location and size. Compared to other approaches, the transvaginal approach provides patients the advantage of being able to recover quickly after the procedure and continue their normal activities the next day. To start the procedure, first attach the ultrasound probe to the guider. Adjust the length of the electrode's active tip according to the size of the fibroid. Then, insert the electrode into the guider. Target the fibroid by confirming its location under ultrasound. To perform the procedure using the moving shot technique, set the Viva RF generator to the continuance mode and adjust the RF power output. The moving shot technique can be performed by pulling back the electrode and ablating unit by unit. This technique helps limit the thermal damage to the surrounding tissue. Continual observation of the ultrasound image and generator impedance will be helpful to achieve a complete and safe ablation. After the procedure, most patients should experience a dramatic improvement in their symptoms and a decrease in the size of their fibroid. The benefits of uterine fibroid RFA include a minimally invasive procedure usually performed in an outpatient setting with local anesthesia, a short procedure time, a quick recovery allowing patients to continue their normal activities the next day, and low complication rates.